In this module, we will review groups. From the name dropdown in the top right corner, choose Groups. Groups allow you to queue inbound messages that are already handled by a specific team. Your account has a single pre-built primary group. This allows you to send and receive messages from day one. You can add groups based on things like department, topic, or campaign. The group screen will provide any groups that you have already created. The name of the group, the phone number assigned to that group, a manager if a manager has been assigned to that group, a pathway if there's a pathway assigned to that group, whether you can offload messages, transfer messages, if there's a welcome message assigned, a farewell message assigned, an off-hours auto-reply assigned, and any hold actions. If you would like to create a new group, choose Add Group. To make any changes to your group, choose the group and choose Edit on the far right side. On the screen, you will see menu options on the far left side. This menu will allow you to make any changes that apply to this specific group. Let's review the settings. Name, number, and customization will allow you to assign a phone number to this group, assign a manager to this group, assign a name if you would like to change it from the default primary, and you can choose a color block that will show up with any messages assigned to this group. Under the transfer settings, you can decide if you would like this group to allow transfers from other groups. If no is chosen, chats can only be transferred directly to a user within the group. Our second option is silent transfers. When toggled on, the number of the original group will continue to show. If toggled off, a new number that's assigned to this group will then start a chat conversation with your contact. Under the schedule handling settings, you can choose the time zone to apply to this group and an off hours message. You can set your business hours under the hour schedule and anytime someone contacts you outside of those business hours, they will receive your off hours message. Under the notices and alerts setting, you can choose your neglected chat notices if a chat arrives during scheduled hours and is assigned to an agent and the agent doesn't respond in the time set, it will send a notice to the manager. The automatic responses setting allows you to assign a pathway if you would like anybody who enters this group to enter a pathway. If you have questions on how to create and set a pathway, please review the pathway video. You can create an automatic welcome message that will show up at the beginning of any interaction within this group and an automatic farewell message that will be sent whenever a chat is concluded. A no agents available response for incoming conversations when no agents within the group are available. And local hold actions. When this toggle is on, when a contact is on hold for the specified amount of time in the queue, they can be rerouted to receive a text or be sent to a pathway. View all will allow you to see all settings on a single screen. In this example, we will create our settings for our training group. Under phone number, we will assign a phone number. We will assign manager. We will change the name from primary to training and we will assign a new color block. Under transfers, we will set that we can receive transfers to this group and that they will be silent transfers. So the same number will carry over. Under schedule handling, we will set our business hours to nine to five, Monday through Friday, close Saturday and Sunday. And we will create our auto response to display anytime somebody tries to contact us outside of business hours. Under notices and alerts, we will set our neglected chat notice to five minutes, repeating every five minutes that the chat goes unanswered to our manager, Mr. Donald Duck. Under automatic responses, we will assign the training pathway that we previously created. We will create a cheerful welcome message and a thankful farewell message. And for our no agents available, we have chosen to keep our contacts inside this group instead of transferring them to the primary group and a notification message.
We won't have any hold actions. They will remain in the queue until an agent is ready to interact with them. And choose Save. You have now successfully configured your group.